Hi there. My name is Aaron Lanchman. I'm running Windows 11 in parallels on my MacBook Pro M1. And I'm going to see if I can get the Windows version of the Hartman Neuron VST running. And I should mention that the executable I'm installing is this file from the Hartman Neuron Synthesizer Facebook group. And I think that's important because, as we'll see later, it doesn't look like this needs to have the Nuke controller plugged in. So it looks like this has been patched or something. So let's try installing it. Next. Sure. Sure. Here we go. Please insert the Neuron VS Models DVD now. Aha! I found this ISO image on the Hartman Neuron Synthesizer Facebook group, and it says, Empty Models CD-ROM Image to Make Installer Happy. Okay, so let's see if we can mount that. Sorry, there was a problem mounting the file. Oh, good grief. Just as a lark, let me move this over to the C folder. Okay, continue. And let me try mounting it here. Oh, I guess it didn't like mounting it when it was in this desktop because it's shared on the Mac side. Huh, strange. All right, so it looks like that happily mounted here at drive E. So let me change the path here to E. And let's say, OK. Are you happy? Installed properly. All right. OK, so if you look in Program Files x86 in the Hartman Music folder, there's this Neuron VS folder. The ISO I found on the Facebook page installs one of these that's basically having a bunch of blank models and sounds. And you need to replace that with the proper database. And I got that from www.neuron-synth.com, which is the home of an Intel Mac version of the software that I can't actually get running on my current Mac, which is why I'm doing all of this. Anyway, I was able to get the model database from this model database link. And I was able to get the file from that and basically replace this whole Neuron DB folder. Oh, here's the Steinberg folder. VST plugins. Ah, there it is. Okay, here's a link to the Neuron VS plugin user's manual. One problem is that it was compiled with an ancient version of the VST API, so we need a host that can handle it. So people have recommended this plug, Bidul. Okay, I guess let's try Bidul standalone for Windows. Okay, yep. Yep. Create, okay, sure. Uh, let's create a desktop shortcut too. Okay, okay, completed. Okay, let's run this maybe. 54 groups found, okay. All right, okay, this really feels like overkill for what I want. Let's see, I didn't see a VST menu show up, so I added a more modern VST called Razorblade. Still don't see it show up. Okay, so how about let's check out the preferences. Let's see, plugins. Ah, let's add a folder. Let's try to be very careful here. So we'll go down to this PC. We'll click on local disk. And then we have program files x86. And then we have Steinberg. And I'm clicking on the VST plugins folder here. All right, apply. Let's see, did any VST show up? Why don't I see any VSTs here? Let's see, maybe I need to scan plugins. No? Okay, long story short, while earlier versions of Plug Bidle may have enabled people to run this particular VST, this particular version I downloaded seems to only prefer newer VSTs. And I couldn't find older versions of Plug Bidle, although admittedly I didn't look very hard. So I gave up on that. 
So next, I'm going to try VST Host by Herman Sieb. And actually, I'm not sure how to properly pronounce S-E-I-B. If you know a better way to pronounce it, please leave a comment below. I'm going to pick up VST Host x86. And I'm also going to pick up this VST Host W98 for Windows 98. Why not? OK, let me click on this VST Host. And let's see, file, new plugin, Neuron VS. OK, it's thinking, 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 thinking. Is it going to crash? Is it going to load? Huh. Let me press this key. Seriously? <laughs> Little bit glitchy. Wow. Okay, so that is an Intel plugin being run in an Intel VST host, all of which is being emulated on an ARM processor on my Mac running Windows for ARM through Windows for ARM's emulation layer in parallels. Okay, big question. Do I get the GUI? Oh, sadness. I do not get the GUI. But maybe I can get the parameters? Oh, look at this. All right, so let me hook up my MIDI controller. Let me go up to here where it says devices, MIDI, OK. Let me change this. How about this? Huh. Filter. Resonance. Cranking the resonance down. Interesting. So what the rest of this does is going to vary from patch to patch. Hmm, that's not doing much. What about these down here? Oh, wait, that was something. That does something. So I do have access to some parameters here, but not in the main GUI. That's not showing up properly. But the fact that this is running at all is kind of amazing. Okay, next question. Will it respond to patch change commands from my MIDI controller? It does! Creepy.
Okay, enough of that. Let's see if we can try another VST host and get this GUI to show up. Okay, now this is like the Windows 98 version of Herman's plugin. Let's try that out. Okay, that is that is running. Let's see. Well, at least starts. Let's see. Neuron. It's an older style of foul menu. Let's see if this will go. Okay. So we still have the list as before. But do we get the GUI? No, we do not get the GUI. Sadness. Let's see. So I found this Tone 2 website. And this Tone 2 company has a minimalist VST host called NanoHost. So let's try that. Okay, let's run NanoHost 32-bit. Neuron VS. Okay. So I'm getting sound, but I'm not getting, not getting the GUI. Okay, now will it respond to patch change messages? This time I'm going to hit the down button. Okay, so it is responding to patch changes. I'm not sure, but I think that's glitchier than Herman's VST host was. Now, that's not a knock on Tone 2. I'm doing something very weird here, trying to run a very old VST and doing this all in a virtual machine. I also found this VST host called Cantable. And when I went to the download page, I thought, okay, probably newer versions of this wouldn't be able to handle the Hartman Neuron VST, but maybe older versions were. So I found that there is this version one that was no longer supported. A nice thing about that, besides being old for our purposes, is that it doesn't require a license file. So I tried it out and it loaded the VST like it didn't give me an error, but it didn't give me the GUI and it also didn't play any sound. So I didn't pursue that further. Let's see, what does this little info button say? Okay, it says it's a plugin, says things about the parameters, number of outputs, what it supports, export VST SDK less than or equal 2.3 main function. I don't know if this information is meaningful to anybody. Anyway, if you have any insight into how we might be able to get this GUI to show up, let me know in the comments below. I would really like to be able to just run this on my current Mac I do have an older Mac that I acquired solely for the purpose of running the Hartman Neuron VST, but I would really like to be able to run it on this machine with the GUI. Oh, an important detail I forgot to mention earlier. This is running without my Hartman Neuron VS Nuke controller hooked up. So besides being a controller, the Nuke was basically a dongle for the VST. And I don't have that hooked up. And this file I found on Facebook is running. One other note about running parallels. If I go up to where it says actions and configure, and I take a look at the Windows 11 configuration and click on advanced for CPU and memory, this adaptive hypervisor comes checked. I generally found that I have less glitchy audio performance for these various synthesizer apps when I uncheck it. Now, playing YouTube is perfectly fine, whether I have this checked or not. And this isn't just true for my experiments here with the VST. This is also true when running things like Moselle and other applications that make audio. But notice, even with it unchecked, it is a bit glitchy. So if anyone has any insight on how to change settings to get less glitchy audio, please let me know.